Pioneer Day. Um, as I was preparing for this uh, session, I actually threw away bulk of my slides that had a lot of numbers and beautiful stuff on them and just kept a few pictures. And the reason for it was because over the last couple of days I was attending a very interesting near meeting and the person who was running it, his name is Eric, he asked me to mention his name, he gave a quote, when you're telling a story, you say three things. First, facts, second, emotions and three, value. Given the fact that most of the people here are asleep, I suggest that you can continue doing that through facts and emotions. But when I'm starting to talk about value, please do pay attention because it might be useful for all of you here. So our story actually started very long time ago and a lot of people don't know that, but we started thinking about sweat coin and what became Sweat Economy in 2014. And what we wanted to do was to make the world more physically active. We were not thinking about doing blockchain, we actually were genuinely focusing on a very common human problem. Everyone wants to be more active, nobody typically finds motivation, money, time, resolve, energy to do that. So we figured out how to tackle this problem. But we actually needed to create a currency out of physical activity. And we started thinking about that. And generally, in order to create currency, you go one of the two ways. You either start a country or you go on blockchain. Starting a country is not really something that's been done very well, especially recently. So we started looking towards blockchain. Remember, this is early 2015. The only option we had was to fork Bitcoin, and we seriously spent a lot of time looking into that. They quoted to us nine months and extra 300 grand to code our MVP, and we kind of went, ooh, okay, uh, that's not gonna work. Then we heard of this research great project that was pretty hush-hush called Ethereum, and we met with Vitalik in London in early spring of 2015 and we asked him can we build on Ethereum and he basically said well in a couple of years you will be able to. So that left us with only one choice is to call Postgres our blockchain and just keep going forward. That was really 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 amazingly successful decision because as soon as we launched and those guys, anyone here follows Lad Bible? Well, I hope not, but you know, kind of be honest. You know what Lad Bible is. These guys put that headline out there. New phone app wants to pay you to get off your arse. And all of a sudden, things started flying for us. We got tens of thousands of users, literally within a few hours after us going live. And what happened, that by early 2017, roughly a year after we launched, we were already processing several hundred transactions per second at peak. Which means that if we would have spent that 300 grand and we would have spent extra nine months, we either would have been dead or we would be very, very different business. So we kind of wiped our brows and went, wow, okay, that was lucky. But we have not lost track of us wanting to be a true currency. Because we were centralized, our token was having utility only inside our app, and it was definitely, definitely not as appealing to the audience as what we have right now. But despite these limitations, we scaled massively. And by 2021, we already had 120 million users around the world, 35 million actives, and we were processing 650 million transactions a month. And at peak, it was 1,500 transactions, which is a phenomenal number, as you know, and is starting to get into the you know, region of uh, visas and MasterCards. And we tracked by then 
30 trillion steps, which just to give you perspective, this is roughly the distance now between us and the Voyager 1, which is the furthest man-made object from us right now, which is 18 and a half billion kilometers away. In 2021, in the autumn, near Con, yeah, I think October, November, in Lisbon, I basically gate crashed. I, you know, kind of managed to get in. I saw Ilya and I started chatting to him, and things started sort of falling into place. We were doing a lot of audit on a lot of different chains, but ultimately we decided to go with Near. And the reason is because Near has got very shared mission with us. We are about making extra billion people in the world more physically active, and Near wants to bring one billion people into Web3. There is a fantastic alignment there about the scale and thinking about the huge number of people that we want to bring into a new world, give them new behavior. Amazing team, as I mentioned. You know, I met Ilya, I met Alex, I met Marek, I met Yesen. The team is absolutely fantastic, and I really, really enjoy the fact that this is not a crypto bro culture. It's absolutely incredible how business focused and how trustworthy this team is. And last but not least is technology. The technology of Nier, as you know, probably that's the reason why you're here, is absolutely phenomenal. It's scalable, the transactions are cheap, and what also matters to us a lot, we as a business about burning your calories, not electricity. So it was very important for us that we're working with a chain that is using proof of stake. And Nier has got it all. We launched in September 2022 in Lisbon on the 12th, and I was extremely nervous on that day because TGE that we had has never been done. In fact, factor 10. So we had 13 million token holders that we needed to give tokens to on that day. Ilya was nervous. His team and my team were sitting on Zoom 36 hours making it happen, but everything worked without a glitch. It is absolutely incredible and a testament to absolutely superior tech that this team has and their ability to deliver at scale and being able to support businesses like us. With this launch, which happened, as I mentioned, on 12th of September, we now have a full portfolio of products. We have Sweatcoin, which is a health and fitness app that you see on the left, and it is more about your emotional engagement. So we give you stats, we give you numbers. It's a pedometer that actually makes people move. In the US, we still haven't launched Sweat Wallet, which you see on the right, which is basically our fintech product. You track steps on Sweatcoin, but you receive your sweat, which is our crypto token that we launched in September, in Sweat Wallet. So we have a portfolio of two applications serving different needs of our users. As soon as we launched, within the first week, we became the largest on-ramp in Web3 history, and we got into the first place on DAP radar. Yay! These were emotions, yeah? There were a lot of facts, those were emotions. That was a very, very cool day when we saw ourselves at the very top of DAP radar rankings. And literally within a few months, we now have 15, so it's been five and a half months to be exact from launch. We now have 15 million token holders. We have more than 5 million people who have installed Sweat Wallet, and two and a half million of them are actives. It is a pretty incredible set of facts for Web3, no matter what business you are looking at, especially on the nascent and growing ecosystem like Near. Now I'm starting to talk value. So those that were asleep, you know, please pay attention. Knowing full well that we're bringing a lot of users to this ecosystem, we actually have developed two functionalities that are very beneficial and needed to our users, but everyone in the ecosystem and other projects can benefit from. They're called rewards and learn and earn. Rewards work in the following fashion. Users take sweat and they can 
opt in to win a reward. These rewards come from us, but they also come from partners. We already worked with Chris from Few and Far, who sits over there, and we were able to generate traffic for them. So if you're a project that is interested in getting exposure to our user base, we can talk about getting some rewards from you, especially if it is on near, it is going to be extremely easy for people to claim, receive, and engage with your project. Learn and Earn is the most recent addition, which is basically, think of it as advertising on steroids. We can educate our users about your project. We can then test this knowledge in a quiz. We can reward them with your token. And then we can send them on a quest which is basically an on-chain action that they need to perform in order to receive an additional reward. So rather than running ads and serendipitously picking up people that happen to see them, we can really target specific audiences with very, very focused messages. So this is what we would like to do with this ecosystem, to share our users with you, because we feel that this is extremely valuable for our users as well. Because instead of just being in our app, they get a lot more information, they get a lot more value, and because 95% of them are new to blockchain, this is an education and gives them a chance to really engage and understand other products that exist there. Now, to the announcement. After five and a half months of being absolutely lambasted every day with tweets when US, it's W-E-N US, and after spending countless hours on legal and regulatory questions, we can announce that we are going to make Sweat and Sweat Wallet available in the US exactly one year after our global launch. So on the 12th of September, 2023, you will start being able to earn sweat with your steps if you live in the US. The other secondary but very interesting announcement for, I think, this audience is we're now only near and we're a multi-token wallet. Within this year, we're going to start supporting Ethereum and possibly going beyond EVMs as side chains that our users will be able to hold assets on, and they will be able to see them and use them inside our app without them having to go open new accounts, download other wallets, and basically proliferate their tools and remember more seed phrases and passwords than they absolutely have to. And on that note, thank you. Thank you very much.